for the answer, not the problem. Hello and welcome to Paul at Home. My name is Paul and I'm at home. And today, one of my little characters has got a big problem. But I wonder which character you think it is today. And today, it's Twist. Hey. Yes. What's going on? What, what, what do you mean, what's going on? Um, we're shooting another assembly video um, for schools or churches. Oh, I thought we were just at home. Yes, watching TV. Well, we can maybe do a little bit of that later on. Um, but right now, I wanted to ask you about the... OK, it's all sorted. But you had a big problem. It's all sorted. Really? They said it could never be done. That I did it. OK, so what exactly was the big problem? Well, it was huge, gigantic, the biggest ever, and, and no one thought I could do it. OK, but, 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 you, but you managed to? Yeah, I did. Well, I thought we could tell everybody here at school. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Can I say hello? Of course you can. Hello. Is that it? Actually, I want to say... Hello, 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 hold on a minute, yes. What are you doing? Saying hello to everyone who's watching. Okay, well that's really good, but I wonder if I could ask you about that problem? Oh, it wasn't really a, a problem. What, what do you mean it wasn't really a problem? I thought you said you had a big problem. No, 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 I said I had a big jelly. A big jelly? Yes, it's about the size of a house. About the size of a house, and they said I could never eat it. Well, not in one go. No, please don't tell me you tried to eat a jelly all in one go that big. Yes. And? I needed a hand. Actually, I needed a lot of hands. You needed a lot of hands? Yeah, I had some friends to help out. I had Kato the lion, Dudley the duck, Rizizi the near cat, and we all ate the jelly. OK. It's all gone. So the big jelly that everybody said was a big problem? Not a problem at all. If you team up with other people, things are easy. Look for the answer, not the problem. Oh, that's a really good idea. Look for the answer and not the problem. Well, today I've got a story. You always have a story. Yes, I do. Well, today, yeah, I have a story um, that has got a big problem right in the middle of it. Can I come back later after the story? Of course you can. See you later. Bye. David walked out, nervous but excited, into the valley to face the battle of his life. No, wait a minute. Stop. That's the exciting part, right in the middle of today's Bible story. Let's rewind a little bit and I'll tell you everything right from the very beginning. A man named Saul had been chosen to be the first king of Israel. I'm the king, anointed by a prophet called Samuel. I am, but appointed by God, the king. It was his big challenge to lead the whole nation of Israel. I am most definitely the king. And was he up for it? It's me. Well, kind of. You see, Saul, had a great heart for the people. I'm the king. But he did not have a great heart to follow God. And he often did things opposite to what God wanted him to do. And for Saul, that was a big problem. The Philistine army always seemed to be battling against the people of Israel. And on this one occasion, the Philistines knew that they couldn't be beaten. Often when two armies were battling, instead of the whole army battling in together, they often sent in their champions, one champion from each of the armies, and they would battle each other. And the winning champion won the battle. The two armies lined up to face each other. And the Philistine champion stepped forward to challenge the whole of the Israelite army. He said, 
Send your champion to fight me. Say, hey, hold on a minute, wait a minute. A Lego man? Really? It's supposed to be a nine foot tall Philistine warrior. Oh well, we all like Lego men. Let's see what he has to say. Send out your champion to fight me. And if your champion beats me, then we'll all be your slaves. But if your champion still won't fight, you will all end up in graves. <laughs> the Philistine champion shouted, challenged the people of Israel for 40 days. They were terrified. I mean, nobody wanted to fight him. Would you? It was about this time that a young shepherd boy arrived in the Israelite camp. He'd been sent from home in Bethlehem by his dad to give some food to his brothers in camp, some bread and some cheese. But as he arrived, he heard Goliath's challenge for himself. <laughs> David was really puzzled. He knew the people of Israel were God's chosen people, but everybody seemed to be terrified. David said, Goliath might be big, but God is bigger. I'd even go and fight him. I know that God is the answer to any of our problems. It wasn't long before people heard and, and, and David was sent to see King Saul. I'm the king. Your, your, your majesty, the king. I will happily go and fight that Philistine giant. You want to fight Goliath? You see, I know that God will be with me. You, when I'm looking after my father's sheep, and a lion or bear come to attack, I can beat them because I know that God is on my side. I think you need to use my armour. Well, David couldn't even stand up wearing Saul's armour. David didn't need that. He needed what God had given him. All David needed with him was his shepherd's stick, a slingshot and five smooth stones. David walked out, nervous but excited, into the valley to face the battle of his life. He stood there and looked up to Goliath. Goliath shouted at him, Ha 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 ha! Am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? I'll feed your body to the birds, rip you up into little bits. Ha 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 ha! David, was not afraid. He knew that God was with him. He took one of those smooth stones, placed it in his sling. He started to swing the sling round and around and around and around and around and around and he let the stone fly out and it hit Goliath square on the head. David had won the battle David became the king's champion. The people cheered. David knew that God was the answer to any of life's problems. Right now, let's have a word with Twist and find out what he has learnt from hearing about David and Goliath in the Bible. So Twist, yes? What do you think of that, that event in the Bible, David and Goliath? Amazing. Brilliant. And David, he was incredible. Yeah, well, some, there are some pretty amazing things in the Bible. Yeah, but David, he was a shepherd, a musician, and a soldier. And then he became the king of the whole of Israel. And more than that, he knew that God stood with him in problems. It's a, that's exactly right, Twist. Well done, and we can know the same. If we give our problems to God, God will stand with us and be the answer to any of our problems. Look for the answer, not the problem. That's a really good idea. Look for the answer and not the problem. And you can also find friends too. That is really great, Twist. Thank you. We can have good friends around us to stand with us as well. Like when Kato helped me to eat the jelly. Exactly right. Who is going to stand with you when you've got problems? And who are you going to stand with? with. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little video today. Yeah, I did. I'm looking forward to the next one. And we'll look forward to seeing you 
next time. Goodbye. See you next time.